The nation's capital had barely begun to rouse itself on the morning of January 10th, 1917, when Alice Paul turned her back on decades of polite patience and politics as usual, and threw down the gauntlet at the very gates of the White House. A dozen suffragists assembled there just before 10 o'clock, shouldering the colors of the National Woman's Party and banners addressed to the president. They stood in silence until midday, when they were relieved by another group who stayed until 5.30. Squads will be stationed about the White House daily until the presidential inaugural on March 4th, the Washington Herald reported. This is generally regarded as the most militant move ever made by the suffragists of this country. No one had ever picketed outside the White House like this before. For women to stand at the gates of the White House and demand attention from the president, to demand rights, is stepping far outside of social norms for that time. There had been picket lines in the labor movement for years. It's not a tactic that they invented. But applying it to suffrage and using the White House and specifically its occupant, Woodrow Wilson, as the target was something entirely new. It was a brilliant way of upping the ante. The demonstration had been hatched in tandem with Harriet Stanton Blatch, who'd led a deputation of 300 women to the president just days before to secure his pledge for the federal amendment as a memorial to Inez Milholland. Wilson had refused. Until the orders of my party are changed, the president had told them, it is impossible for me to do anything other than I am doing. For Blatch, the only rational response was radical action. We have got to take a new departure. We have got to bring to the president individually, day by day, week in and week out, the idea that great numbers of women want to be free, will be free, and want to know what he is going to do about it. It's now 1917. They have not made any real progress toward a federal amendment. They can't point to any real success. Something new is needed. The whole idea was to put pressure on the decision makers and to get under the skin of Wilson. You are not gonna ignore this movement. 